Have you ever been fumbling around in the dark, trying to find a light source before you get killed by Charlie? Have you ever been running away from monsters, struggling to locate armor and weapons in your messy inventory? Then look no further, because you're already watching this video and I just wasted about 10 seconds of my life saying that. The inventory in Don't Starve is a magical dimension that all characters keep inside their pockets. It allows you to carry an absurd amount of objects that you find for personal use. While you can't exactly carry around 8 million cubic meters of solid gold, <coughs> Minecraft, you can still carry around an adequate amount of truckloads, which sometimes means that stuff gets lost in that bottomless void. So in this video I'm going to advise you on how to efficiently and effectively organize your inventory, and probably some other inventory related stuff. The Don't Starve inventory consists of 18 slots. 15 of these slots are used to store items, and the other three are used to equip hand slot, body slot, and head slot items, most notably weapons, tools, armor, seasonal clothes, and light sources. Equipable items can be stored in the storage slots as well as being worn, enabling you to take them on and off as you like, except for backpacks, which can only be equipped or dropped on the ground. Equipable items can only ever be stacked up to one in each slot, except for a small number of exceptions. All other items, which are mostly food and crafting materials, can be carried in stacks of 10, 20, or 40. Larger items like dug up bushes can only be stored in stacks of 10. Medium items such as logs can be stacked up to 20, and smaller, more common materials such as grass and twigs can be stored in stacks of up to 40. The inventory's 15 storage slots are actually divided up into three groups of five visually. I sort of use this to sort the inventory, but there's no real need for it. In the first two slots, I always put something common that stacks up to 40, mostly twigs and cut grass. This is because when a mob such as a frog attacks you, they will make you drop an item from the first stack in your inventory. If you place grass or twigs in the first slot, you will only end up losing one insignificant item, instead of something more valuable like food, armor, or tools. Next to these first slots, I put other crafting materials like stones and wood. This is because when you craft, you don't need to actually click on items like these, so I just put them in a corner somewhere where I won't be putting my mouse. After crafting materials, I always put food. Always keep all your food bundled next to each other so you don't overlook someone looking for a snack. Also, be sure to put poisonous foods, such as red caps, away from your normal food so you don't accidentally eat it. Directly left from the equip slots, I always put the two most important things a light source and some armor, which you should always carry around. Always remember the golden rule of don't starve. Always carry around a light source, or at the bare minimum, materials to make one. You never know when you might need it. The other reason why I put armor and light sources here is so they're always easy to find when you're under struggle, such as when you're running away from monsters or getting caught in the darkness. This is a really good habit to get into because it might even save your life. After these two very important things, I put things like tools and other stuff, just so they don't get lost in the depths of the rest of my inventory. Finally, I just put other things inside my backpack, generally more valuable objects I find while exploring, so they don't accidentally get burnt or something while I'm fighting something like red hounds. I basically store whatever I have multiple stacks of in there, such as grass and twigs from tumbleweeding, or rocks or logs from farming. The first 12 inventory slots are actually bound to the number keys. Slot 1 is bound to 1, slot 2 is bound to 2, all the way up to 10, which is bound to 0. Slots 11 and 12 are bound to the hyphen and plus keys, respectively. Using a key bind will perform the right-click action on whatever is in the inventory slot. This will equip weapons, tools, clothes, eat food, or simply examine the object if it doesn't serve as an equipable or consumable. Generally, I don't use these shortcuts because I tend to accidentally press the wrong one, since the inventory isn't numbered, which often results in me eating food I didn't want to. Additionally, when organizing your inventory or other stored items, you can press Ctrl click on a stack to split it in half, or while you're holding a stack of items, pressing Ctrl click to place one item from the stack. Pressing shift on a stack of items will also transfer it to a container, such as a chest, if you have it open. If you don't have a chest open, the items will go to a backpack, if applicable. When your inventory is full, the character will comment on it and the leftover item that you tried to pick up or harvest will be transferred to the magic inventory slot. The magic inventory slot, which I think is supposed to be your other hand, actually differs greatly from Don't Starve to Don't Starve Together. In single player Don't Starve, it doesn't serve much purpose other than carrying items, as keyboard shortcuts such as spacebar to do work and pick up items. 
and Control F to attack nearby enemies don't work while you have an item in your other hand. In DST, however, using controls such as these actually do work, essentially giving you an extra inventory slot. Backpacks can be crafted or obtained in other ways, giving you an extension of inventory space. Normal backpacks are crafted with 4 twigs and 4 cut grass, and give you 8 additional inventory slots. Piggybacks are crafted with 4 pigskins, 6 silk and 2 rope. This backpack gives you 12 additional slots and waterproofs the items inside it, but slows you down by 10%. The insulated pack is crafted with 1 thick fur, 3 gears and 3 electrical doodads. While it only gives you 6 additional slots, it slows down the spoilage of all items inside like an icebox, but does not freeze ice, ice cubes and thermal stones like an icebox does. The final backpack, which is arguably the best one, cannot be crafted and is only dropped by Krampus, with a 1% drop chance. The Krampus sack is however incredibly valuable, as it has 14 inventory slots and doesn't slow you down like the piggyback does. It's also worth noting that 14 inventory slots is almost double your normal amount. With the Krampus sack you'll have a grand total of 30 storage slots, including the phantom left hand slot. Well thanks for watching I guess. As always, if you have any video ideas, just comment them. The tank is almost empty at this point, so I'm nearly scraping the bottom of the barrel, honestly. I might actually be starting a new kind of series soon, which I have mentioned before, I think. Basically, the videos in the series are going to compare two things. Be that video games, brands, products, even beverages, I don't know. So you can sort of expect that soon, maybe. Also, I do want to start a new playthrough series. The last one ended more than six months ago, which is a while, so starting a new one would mean that there's more regular uploads on the channel, which means more mediocre content for you to enjoy. But the main problem is I don't really know what game to do a series on, so, so I'm going to put up a poll. Click here to vote on a gameplay series that you'd like to see. Anyway, bye, I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you.